Hey team, it is Tina, and today we have a 15 minute lower body. We wanna make sure we strengthen up our legs and get everything moving. So we're gonna work on our glutes, our hamstring, a little bit of quads. Uh, we'll start off with three exercises for a quick little warm up, and then it'll be one cardio to two strengths with dumbbells, and we'll repeat that two times. So if you're ready, mentally, physically, and emotionally, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So first one, we're just gonna go ahead and start with some air squats. So here we go, 30 seconds. Go ahead and drop your bum down. You wanna make sure that you kind of stay on your heels. Squeeze when you come up to the top and come down as low as you can. Keep your feet about shoulder width. Everything is about form. You wanna prevent your body moving forward. So again, kind of wiggle your toes if you need to as a little reminder to stay on those heels and to bring your hips down. All right, we're gonna switch into inchworms now. So keeping your legs as straight as possible, posture upright, we're gonna crawl it out and really get those hamstrings working into a high plank squeeze and as you notice i'm using my fingertips that's a good thing about having long arms i utilize what i can to really maintain that form but if you're not there yet that's okay just have a slight bend in your knees here we go one more of these inchworms and from here we're going to go into a monster walk monster walk is almost halloween so we're going to stay down low move forward and back Again, everything you notice with me is pull those shoulders back. My mom used to tell me, don't slouch. So I'm gonna tell you the same thing, don't slouch. 10 more seconds on these monster walks. You can put your hands on your hips, go slow and steady. Three, two, and one. So now that is over, we're gonna go into our workout. So again, one cardio to two strengths, and we're gonna start off with high knees. Here we go. High knees right here. We got 40 seconds. Remember, you can do anything in 40 seconds. If it's hard, just slow it down or get your favorite miss going to get you pumped up. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. Keep moving. Slow it down if you must, but don't quit. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and catch your breath, and we're gonna be going into our strength portion. First one is gonna be dumbbell RDL. Romanian deadlift is what it stands for. Feet shoulder width. We're gonna hold the weights right in front of our legs right here, and we're working hamstrings. So here we go, three, two, and one. You wanna have a slight bend in your knees. Bring the weights close to your shin. So again, pull your shoulders back, bring your hands right, past your knees in front of your shins. You should feel a slight pull on your hamstrings. Slow and steady. This is where you're gonna catch your breath because those high knees, whew. Here we go. Come up and squeeze. 10 more seconds. Keep your focus with your body. So again, you don't want to look up, you wanna to look to wherever your body's moving. Three, two, and one. Next one, strength movement, forward lunge. So you're gonna be stepping forward with the weights to your side in that motion right there. If in case you have knee problems, feel free to go reverse lunge. But we're gonna get set up, feet shoulder width, three, two, and one. Come forward, make sure that knee does not go over your toe. And again, if you have knee issues, feel what, do what feels right for you, whether it's stepping back or forward. Upright body, focus on your breathing, push up to standing position. 15 seconds. Whew. My legs are already burning. Here we go. We got less than 10. All right, your legs are going to probably feel like they're on fire in just a sec. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and place those down. We got our cardio. So what do we got for our cardio? Jump squats. Not my favorite, but we gotta do it. So 10 seconds, you're gonna be doing like your air squats in our warm-up. So you're gonna get down to that squatted position 
and jump up off the ground. Here we go. Now, again, if you're just starting out and you can't seem to jump because of any knee issues, you can just come up on your toes. Right here, squeeze, squeeze. But if you're advanced, I wanna see you powering through. Again, get your favorite music on, right here. You will definitely feel those quads burning right there. 10 seconds. Woo, I'm gonna slow it down myself. Here we go. Doesn't matter when you start, it's always hard. So just keep moving. And time. Catch your breath for our next two strength. First one is gonna be sumo squats. So again, grab whichever weight feels good to you, but also challenging. You're gonna go ahead into a wide stance right here. Point your toes out, hold your weights right in the middle, and then come down. Come up and squeeze. Again, knees should be following your toes. So make sure you're not too narrow because then those knees will extend out past your knees, squeeze at the top, back down. If you've been doing this for a minute, I do expect you guys to be lifting heavier. I always say, if you can go to Costco and lift those heavy boxes, you can definitely be lifting heavy weights. Three, two, and one. 20 second, and we're gonna get going into our final strength movement, which is the split squat. You're gonna go ahead and do a wide stance, just like the splits, and we're coming down almost like a lunge. So keep your weights to your side, pull those shoulders back, and here we go. Three, two, and one. So come down, push the ground away from you with the front foot. So you're gonna come down and push the ground away from you. This is gonna activate your back quads, along with some of that glute muscle. Down and up, down and up. We got 20 seconds. We're just gonna burn out this first leg. Sure, why not? Down, last 10. Find your balance. Don't go like me sometimes. Five seconds, three, two, and one. 20 seconds, and guess what? We're back to the top, so you know what's coming. I don't wanna do it, but we gotta do it anyway, so high knees in 10 seconds. Here we go. In through your nose, push that air out. Let's get focused and in the zone. Here we go, three, two, one, and go. You wanna move your body at least once a day. It's good to move your body, not in the moment, but once you do, you get so much energy. You see small improvements and changes every single day. And again, as long as you stay consistent, friends, 15 seconds. I'm gonna push through on this one. No stopping for me. 10 seconds. Let's go. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Enjoy these 20 seconds. Slow down your heart rate. Whew. Man, that got me worked. We're going to that RDL. So you have a luxury of 10 more seconds, but grab your weights. Take a deep breath. Tell yourself that you can do this and that you must. Three, two, and one. Down, feel that stretch. Come up and squeeze. Dropping the weight. Keeping my head, neck, and spine neutral. Again, I'm gonna keep saying it over and over until you get sick and tired of me saying it, but it's all about form. Form, form, form. It's kind of like dirty dishes for my husband. He can't sleep with dirty dishes. I can't sleep with bad form. Five more seconds. Squeeze. Three, two, and one. Now we got that forward lunge, so just remember whether you step forward or back, just do what you can to keep that knee stable. You got five more seconds. Whew. Three, 
two, and one. Stepping it forward for me, I'm gonna push off the ground to back to standing, alternating, slow and control, pushing up. Before, I used to kind of wanna go as fast as possible, but as I get older, yes, you get smarter as you get older, I think that's what they say. I've learned to slow it down and really put my mind to that muscle so I get the most work out of what I'm doing. We got 10 more seconds. Breathe and smile. Five seconds, three, two, and one more. 20 second break. The worst dreaded for most people, especially me because I am human sometimes. <laughs> Jump squats, taking a few deep breaths with you guys. Again, this is hard for me too. Five seconds, I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> Three, two, one, and jump it out. Jump squats, down and up, down and up. Try not to slouch down, but you wanna maintain your body upright. Down and up, stay on your heels, or at least towards the middle back of your feet. Ooh, we got 20 seconds. Is it over yet? Not yet. <laughs> 15 seconds, everyone. Let's go. Slow down, but keep pushing through. Here we go. We're almost at the end. I can see it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Wow. Shake it out, shake it out. That one got me. Oh my goodness, I think I can eat after this. Sumo squats. Let's work those inner thighs. Five seconds, wider stance, pigeon toed, and we're gonna drop it down, hold for about a second, come up and squeeze. Slow movements, strength. When you're doing stuff like this, I want you to just take a minute to think about where you're going, who you're becoming with each rep. Sometimes we really focus on who we don't wanna be, but this is a time that you don't wanna do that. You get more results when you think about that person that you're becoming each and every day. Last three seconds, everyone. Three, two, and one. All right, split squats, the last leg. I have bad memory, so hopefully I remember this is the correct leg. So I'm gonna split it out. Dumbbells to my side. This is the last one, I swear. I'm gonna cool it down, but if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Push the ground away from you. Again, don't lean forward, everything is upright. Push, down, and push, down, and push. Oh my goodness, we're at the halfway. Woo. There we go. 15 more seconds. We're almost there and we're gonna cool down. We'll stretch it out and get you feeling real good about yourself. Five seconds. Three, two, and last rep. There you go. That was it. That was it, family. I hope you enjoyed that one. Meet me, JK. Meet me in a deep squat. <laughs> Here we go. So you wanna go ahead and keep that body upright. Get as low as you can. Really pushing out your knees with your elbows. I kinda of say Grandma Kim did this very well. She had eight kids and making kimchi and picking her rice. I don't know what it was, but you wanna get low and push those legs out. Now we're gonna go into that runner stretch right here. This one, I like to do it with my body upright. Push your body forward so you get more of a deeper stretch on your hip flexor. When your hip flexors are too tight, it's gonna make it kind of difficult when you're doing squats or even kind of add to a little bit of that lower back pain. So get a good stretch right in here. Last stretch. I call this the piriformis. You're gonna figure four right here. Hug that knee like it's your best friend and pull into your chest right here. Pull. 
you should feel it right inside your glute. We're gonna switch to the other side and pull. Catch your breath, because that was really hard. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. It was hard for me, like I said. It doesn't matter if it's your day one or like me, my ninth year, but as long as you keep pushing, you will get better. It's never gonna be easy, but you will get better. And with each day as you get better, I promise you stay focused on who you're becoming and don't focus on your past. The future is where you, where you wanna look to and you'll see amazing results. So hope to see you guys again soon. It was my pleasure to be working out with you. Let's go team. I'll see you next time. Bye.